A woman with a really hairy underarms boards a crowded bus. Unable to find a seat, she settles for hanging onto one of the poles. A drunk man next to her stares at her for three minutes, then tells her, I love a woman who does aerobics. The woman replies angrily, I don't do aerobics. The drunk man then looks at the woman and says, Then how did you get your leg up so high? <laughs> the women were sitting around, throwing back a few drinks and talking about their love lives. One woman said, I call my husband the dentist. Nobody can drill like he does. The second woman giggled and confessed, I call my husband a miner because of his incredible shaft. The third woman quietly sipped her whiskey until her friend asked, Say, what do you call your husband? She frowned and said, the postman. Why the postman? Because he always delivers late and half the time it's in the wrong slot. <laughs> so Johnny was at school and his teacher was teaching the four basic food groups. Johnny asks, what food group do light bulbs fall into? His teacher replies, light bulbs are not edible and they don't fall into any food group. Little Johnny insists that light bulbs are food because his dad eats light bulbs. The teacher tries to get little Johnny to drop the subject, but he would just not let it go. He says, I know that light bulbs are edible because I heard my dad tell my mom that if she would turn off the light, he would eat it. <laughs> The priest was driving along and saw a nun on the side of the road. He stopped and offered her a lift, which she accepted. She got in and crossed her legs, forcing her groan to open and reveal a lovely leg. The priest took a look and nearly had an accident. After regaining control of the car, he stealthily slid his hand up her leg. The nun looked at him and immediately said, Father, remember Psalm 129? The priest was flustered and apologized profusely. He forced himself to remove his hand. However, he was unable to remove his eyes from her leg. Further on, while changing gear, he let his hand slip up her leg again. The nun once again said, Father, remember Psalm 129? Once again, the priest apologized. Sorry, sister, but the flesh is weak. Arriving at the convent, the nun got out, gave him a meaningful glance, and went on her way. On his arrival at the church, the priest rushed to receive a Bible and looked up Paul 129. It said, go forth and seek. Further up, you will find the glory. <laughs> Two Arabs boarded a shuttle out of Washington for New York. One sat in the window seat, the other in the middle seat. Just before takeoff, a fat little Israeli guy got on and took the aisle seat next to the Arabs. He kicked off his shoes, wiggled his toes, and was settling in when the Arab in the window seat said, I think I'll go up and get a Coke. No problem, said the Israeli. I'll get it for you. While he was gone, the Arab picked up the Israeli's shoes and spat in it. When the Israeli returned with the coke, the other Arab said, That looks good. I think I'll have one too. Again, the Israeli obligingly went to fetch it. And while he was gone, the second Arab picked up the other shoe and spat in it. The Israeli returned with the coke, and they all sat back and enjoyed the short flight to New York. As the plane was landing, the Israeli slipped his feet into his shoes and knew immediately what had happened. How long must this go on, he asked. This animosity between our peoples, this hatred, this hostility, this spitting in shoes and peeing in cokes. <laughs> worked in a pickle factory. He had been employed there for a number of years when he came home one day to confess to his wife that he had a tremendous urge to stick his penis into the pickle slicer. His wife suggested that he should see an 
therapist to talk about it. But Bill indicated that he'd be too embarrassed. He vowed to overcome the compulsion on his own. One day, a few weeks later, Bill came home absolutely ashen. His wife could see that at once that something was seriously wrong. What's wrong, Bill? She asked. Um, do you remember that I told you how I had this tremendous urge to put my into the pickle slicer? Oh, Bill, you didn't. Yes, I did. My God, Bill, what happened? I got fired. No, Bill, I mean, what happened with the pickle slicer? Oh, she got fired too, the man says. <laughs> One morning, the members of a farm family were coming to the kitchen for breakfast. Just as Junior seated himself, his mother told him he was not going to get anything to eat until he went to the barn and fed the animals. Irritated at this, he stumps out of the door and headed for the barn. As she fed the chickens, he kicked each one in the head. As the cow bent down to start it on, the fresh hay he had just put in the stall. He kicked it in the head. He poured for the pigs, and as they started eating, he kicked them in the head. He went back to the kitchen and sat down again. His mother was furious. I saw what you did, and as you kick the chickens, you'll get no eggs for breakfast. And since you kicked a cow, you'll get no milk, and no bacon or sausage because you kicked the pigs. Just then, the father came down the stairs and nearly tripped on the family cat. On impulse, he kicked the cat off the stairs. The boy looked at his mother and asked, Are you going to tell him, or should I? Guy is walking along a beach when he comes across a lamp partially buried in the sand. He picks up the lamp and gives it a rub. Two genies appear and they tell him he had been granted three wishes. The guy makes his three wishes and the genies disappear. The next thing he knows, he's in a bedroom in a mansion surrounded by 50 beautiful women. He makes love to all of them and begins to explore the house. Suddenly, he feels something soft under his feet. He looks down and the floor is covered in $50 bills. Then there is a knock at the door. He answers the door and standing there are the two genies. They drag him outside to the nearest tree, throw a rope over a limb and hang him by the neck until he is dead. As the genies walk off, one genie says to the other one, Hey, I can't understand the first wish having all these beautiful women in a big mansion to make love to. I can also understand him wanting to be a millionaire. But to be well hung is beyond me. <laughs> Salesman is going door to door. At one house, a snotty little brat answers the door. Tell you what, he says to the salesman, I can persuade my parents to buy pretty much anything. If you can do everything I can do, I'll talk them into buying something. If you lose, then you give $10. Figuring that there is no way a nine-year-old could outsmart him, the salesman agrees to the deal. Immediately, the kid climbs up the drain pipe and hops onto the flat roof. The salesman does exactly the same. The kid then runs across the roof, does a triple cartwheel, and lands in the back garden with the salesman following suit. Then the kid runs to where his teenage sister is sunbathing topless. He rushes over to her and kisses her on the left breast. Not to be outdone, the salesman leaps over and does the same. The kid then grows both his sister's tits. So does the salesman. Then the kid pulls down her bikini bottoms and licks her p The salesman does likewise. Then the brat pulls out his t wraps it round his little finger and says, Where's my ten dollars? <laughs>